Hmm. Are you sure you haven't been playing populous? Keeper, your dungeon is emptier than your head. Trick or treat, Keeper. <laughs> You're taking your time on this one, Keeper. Scared? Do you await some ominous sign or portent from the undergods of fire and soil? The very rock yawns with anticipation of your next fascinating move. Familiarity breeds contempt, Keeper. It is the witching hour. Curses are half price. Surely even dungeon keepers must retire to a lair of some description. Hello? Are you still there? The imps are about to lock up. Your nocturnal perseverance has earned you a hidden gaming tip. Go to bed. You know that low, broad, downy, soft item of furniture in the next room? It has the power to cure fatigue and restore vitality. You'll go blind, you know. You have an excess of mistresses. There's a word for keepers like you. <coughs> Your creatures demand cakes and fine wines. A lost soul has entered your dungeon. Oh, now it's wandered out again. A neutral creature sends word that he can't make it today. Your dungeon floor is lumpy. Order your minions to jump up and down. Hungry demons cannot reach their toes. The wizard needs food. Your dungeon is on an incline. Angry creatures cannot play marbles. Big monsters, big prizes, I love it. Your dungeon is full of yogurt. Keeper, you have something unpleasant under your fingernail. Micro piglets stalk your dungeon, beware. Your dungeon is damp, install central heating. Never eat anything bigger than your own head, Keeper. Your lair has been recarpeted. Your minions demand cable. Timing is everything. If you were any kind of real keeper, you would have won by now. Other keepers never forget their minions' birthdays. One of your imps does a great impression of you. He can even do the ears. <laughs>